As I lie on my couch, the sound of records playing fills the room. Instead of a random selection of songs from an iPod, varying between artists and genres, what I hear is a full album. All of the songs are connected, no song is glossed over, and each track is just as important as the last. A record player sits in the corner of my dorm, hooked up to some 10-year-old Polk Audio speakers, surrounded by different albums, probably playing Rumors by Fleetwood Mac, one of my personal favorites. I've had my cheap Audio-Technica turntable for about two years. It still works like a charm. It is probably my most prized possession, not just because I love music or the fullness of sound it creates, but also because of what it has taught me on a grander scale. When I first got my record player, I treated it like a CD player. I would move the needle to the song that I wanted, and once it had finished, I would either pick up the needle again and move it to another song, or just turn it off entirely. I viewed it as a very difficult way of only listening to the songs that I wanted to. Pretty soon, I became frustrated with how long it would take to listen to one song, and decided that I should probably just go back to listening to music on my iPod. One day, while trying to manually pick a song, and probably scratching the record in the process, my mother walked in and caught me in the act. She asked me what in the world I was doing, and I explained that I was just trying to get to my favorite song. She looked disappointed and said to me, You're doing it all wrong. The beauty of the record player is that it makes you listen to the whole album. I was a little annoyed thinking that I would have to listen to about five other songs just to get to the one I wanted, but I went along with it. I soon came to see what a fool I had been. Songs that I had never heard before suddenly became the best ones on the album. I couldn't believe that I had missed out on such great music by trying to skip ahead to what I thought was the best part. As I mentioned before, Rumors is one of my favorite albums, but it wasn't that way before the record player. I had a couple of songs off the album on my iPod. Like everyone else, I enjoyed You Can Go Your Own Way, but it wasn't until I forced myself to listen to the entire album that I realized how incredibly diverse and fantastic the record is as a whole. Suddenly, songs I had never heard before, such as Secondhand News, became new favorites and made the album better than I had ever thought possible. I would missed something amazing just because I hadn't taken the time to slow down and try to enjoy the full experience. While this seems trivial, the same principle has held true for other areas of my life. So often do we get impatient with the situation that we are in, waiting for the next exciting thing to come along. If we would just relax and take a minute to enjoy the boring parts of life, we might be surprised and find new experiences to add to our greatest hits. My record player has helped me realize this. This, I believe, 